Prince William joined Lady Gabriella Windsor, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, the Duke of Kent, and Princess Alexandra among the mourners at the private family funeral of Thomas Kingston today. Around 140 friends and family of the financier, whose sudden death left the royal family in mourning, gathered at the Chapel Royal in St. James Palace in London on Tuesday, followed by a reception in St. James Palace, Buckingham Palace announced. The king, Lady Gabriella's second cousin, who is being treated for cancer, and the queen, who had an engagement at Buckingham Palace, were not present. Mr. Kingston, 45, died on February 25 at his parents' home in the Cotswolds from a catastrophic head injury and a gun was found near his body in an outbuilding, the opening of his inquest heard. At today's funeral, his coffin was brought from the chapel of Kensington Palace and was accompanied by close family. The service lasted one hour and began at 11.30 am. The service was led by the sub-dean of the chapel's royal, the Rev. Canon Paul Wright, with a sermon by the former Bishop of London, the R.T. Rev. Richard Chartre. Following the service, a reception was then held in St. James Palace. Lady Gabriella, who is also known as Ella, married Mr. Kingston in Windsor, in 2019. The late Queen Elizabeth II and her husband, Prince Philip, the late Duke of Edinburgh, were among the guests. Royal fans also could help but notice that the date of his funeral holds significance in the couple's relationship. Lady Gabriella's first public outing with Thomas took place exactly nine years ago, March 12, 2015, at the Cheltenham Festival. Previously speaking of his death, Senior Coroner Katie Scarrett outlined the brief circumstances at the hearing earlier this month. She said, Mr. Kingston was visiting his parents' home in the Cotswolds. On 25 February he ate lunch with his parents. His father went out to walk the dog. On his return Mr. Kingston was not in the house and after approximately 30 minutes his mother went to look for him. His father forced entry on a locked outbuilding when no reply could be gained. He found Mr. Kingston deceased with a catastrophic head injury. A gun was present at the scene. Emergency services were called. Police are satisfied the death is not suspicious.